Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've just got a little package to show you today uh, and this one has come to me from the Take Wealth store on AliExpress and I don't like to look on AliExpress because there's all sorts of bits and pieces that you can't get anywhere else and lots of things that you don't realise you need until you see it. <laughs> It's like one of those type shops. And uh, yeah, they had this diamond painting uh, DIY bracelet set. And it's friendship bracelets. I thought, oh, I'll have to have a look at that. Um, I did originally think I may get it as uh, Christmas presents for my granddaughters. But it's arrived a little bit late now. So they'll probably get it now after Christmas when I see them. But I thought, oh, I'll have to have a look at this. It looks really interesting. See what it's about. Uh, with postage and uh, taxes, it's cost me £9.70. So, you know, an under £10 little present for somebody. Uh, it says six plus on it. And it's come in this nice packaging. Oh, it's got a little bit battered. But, uh, yeah, it's come a long way. And let me have a look. Where is it stuck there? A little bit of sellotape. Get some scissors. Oh, look, my scissors match. <laughs> okay. have a look and see what's in it and see whether it's worth the money so it does look very interesting looks like there's quite a bit in there it says three uh oh it says oh, does it say 30 assorted designs oh 30 assorted designs and it makes five bands so five friendship bracelets okay so i suppose if you've got a few um girls coming over over christmas maybe get them to sit down and make it so how does this open does it press there and open yes it does oh okay all oh, right so oh okay so it looks like this could be like the band type bit maybe to put your strings round so that you can make it it's all sparkly as well don't know whether you can quite catch that but it's like yeah there you are look it's got like glitter in the purple so it's all sparkly Got all these little trays here for your gems. Be difficult to tip them out from them, but yeah, okay. Oh, got some picture instructions. They're always good to have. All right. Oh, look, and it gives you all your alphabet letters as well, which are probably useful to keep if you're wanting to do um, alphabets onto anything else. Shows you how to do your different alphabet letters. Uh, obviously, if you can do them yourself, great, but if you can't, then uh, you've got a little guide there and we've got all little like, hearts and stars and things at the bottom there as well. Oh, it's storage. Look, so it's telling you how you can store everything in here. Uh, we've got your threader. Got uh, silicon rubber. Is that, I think that means that's the glue, that's the wax. And then it's telling you how to do different bracelets. Okay. All right. Oh, wow. Wow. Very comprehensive instructions. Oh, they've called them a blingle bands. <laughs> That's a new name. I've not heard of that name before. Let's do a blingle band. Okay. So let's see what we've got here. This looks really good. Uh, yeah, for a present, I think this is amazing. Or even to do yourself. Yeah, quite a lot of people do friendship bracelets. Oh, and we've got a little key code as well. Okay, so we've got our little pot of wax in our little tub there. Does that fit in there? No, not quite. The wax will come out and probably go in there, which is a shame. Yeah, the wax will fit there. But they've given you it in a tub, which is probably better because it won't dry out if it's in the tub. Or not dry out quite as much as it might do if it wasn't in a tub. Okay, you've got your little key code, six different colours, telling you all your different uh, codes there as well. And now then it says BB number. I don't know, they're not DMC codes because they're starting with an eight. So I'm not quite sure what the codes are, but anyway, it's giving you them there. Um, oh, we've got all the bracelets. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, this is really good. Heck, okay. So you've got five different bracelets in different widths. 
we've got two thin ones, two sort of medium sized ones, and then a larger one. Oh, look, and then that one um, hasn't got any numbers or symbols on, so that's to do your own. So that's probably why they've given you the uh, alphabet there and the symbols so you can write your own name and then just fill in with uh, white or whatever colour you want to fill in with. Okay, this is quite a nice way to use up um, any of your gems that you've got as well. You know, if you've got a lot left over, you could just give your kids extras. It's just, I wonder if you can buy it. I'll have to double check just the bracelets on their own because that's a wonderful idea. And then, yeah, these are like um, an acrylic of a little bit like sort of plastic tablecloth material, but thicker, if you get my meaning. Uh, yeah, well, that's the, that's the sticky bit there to put your gems on. Oh, that's not very sticky. I have to say that's not very sticky. Uh, because it is a bracelet, I would tend to seal these. So once they've done the designs, I would use some sort of sealer over the top of them so that the beads don't move because if they're wearing them then uh, yeah they don't want to be getting the uh, beads dropping off as it were so that's our five little bracelets there oh, i think this is lovely i always like things when they come presented nicely you know your little pot you've got your little thing there so then we've got your little spaces and um, this will be for fastening um through your little holes so it'll stop your holes from tearing i think i think that's what they're for how many have we got i've got two four six yeah so you would put oh would you though because you'd need more than 10. you'd put one um on your bracelet you'd really be better off having one on each side sorry you can't see that can you um so that the string isn't going directly through the like plastic material which is likely to tear if you pull it too tight it's got a little like plastic washer on it which is going to obviously be going to be a lot stronger than that so that's those okay we've then got oh look little love heart beads to go on the end as well oh this is lovely yeah shows you there look putting your little beads on your edges there so that you can um just bling it up that little bit more and they're all in lovely blue silver and purple okay that's the gems Whoop. something's just escaped where's it gone Whoop. ah now then that's your needle uh you like your threader so if you're not good at getting um thread through your gems there or through your little spaces then you can pop that th through let me just show you So you would put your threader through your hole there, put your thread through there and hang on to it. So you've got hold of the thread there. And then as you pull it back through, you keep your thread at this end and it comes off at that end. So you've got your thread all the way through. Just a sort of basic needle threader. But they are very handy to have. Um, I've always got one around somewhere because I say with my eyesight, I'm no good at looking at things like that so that's a really handy tool okay put that on there got oh, lots of little grip seal bags look to put all your all your little acrylic diamonds there okay and the colors we've got six different colors and oh the lovely pastel colors look at these so we've got blue lemon a little bit darker blue a baby pink a very pale peach and a, oh look that is an AB. We have an AB in lavender there. Wow. So you could substitute out your own colours or you can use the ones that it's sent you. Wow. Oh, I love this. Oh. oh, we've got our diamond painting pen as well, which is a sparkly one with just your single placer because that's all you need. If your kids have got a few friends over uh, and they're wanting to make something, yeah can always add a few of your pink pens into this or you may have some more of those and then all your threads oh and it looks like they're ombre effect wow so yeah look the thread goes from pink purple through to blue through to green so yeah that's pretty as well ombre effect thread 
Wow. Oh, I like that. I like that. Most impressed. Okay. Don't know whether I'm going to do these myself or not. No, I'm quite uh, taken with this. I think this is a really good little set. And uh, yeah, under £10, you're getting five bracelets to make, so under £2 each. And you've got all your gems, you've got your beads, you've got your spacers, you've even got a needle threader. And then all your thread as well. Wow! Yeah, I must admit, this is getting a thumbs up. I'm impressed with this. Um, obviously, it's going to have to be made up to know. This is just sort of my first impressions. But uh, yeah, I am uh, quite happy with this. Yeah, it's showing you there, look, how to thread your beads through using your uh, needle threader and what to put on and where to put them. Obviously, you can do your own designs as well, as I say, but yeah, very comprehensive little kit. Yeah, they're actually all oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, they're actually saying put your gems into these little slots. Uh, but as I say, it will make them difficult to get out if you do use this. But if you're going to use them all um, and then maybe not keep your gems. But please keep your AB gem because that one's lovely. Yeah, it's uh, AB is Aurora Borealis. So it's like an iridescent coating put over a normal gem. And you just get sort of those blues and pinks and everything shining there. See if you can just... Difficult to see through the packet. But yeah. Well, I have to say, I'm quite impressed with this little kit. Uh, yeah, I think it's a nice value. And uh, I will leave all the uh, links down below. So if you do want to go and check it out yourself. I can't remember whether they did a different colour variation as well. I seem to think in my head they did. But I might just have made that up. <laughs> Okay, well, if you've enjoyed looking at this with me, as always, a big thumbs up is very much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in the corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up so you won't miss anything. Yay! Okay, thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.